Peter here, and I've been thinking about two movies on one screen. Okay, Andrew, what in the hell are you talking about? Scott Adams, the creator of Dilbert, has pointed out that we have, and by we, I mean really America, but Canada fundamentally isn't any different, in the sense I'm going to describe, I know we're different nations and I know, hey, come on, the one thing that every Canadian knows deep, deep, deep in his bones is that he's not an American and because he's not an American, because he's a Canadian, he's better than an American. So I'm not saying we're the same. We're a bunch of humble, bragging, arrogant, passive aggressive shit heels. We hate America because that's what we're raised to do. Can't point out how we're better than they are, but... We know it. It's true. It must be. Saw it on the CBC. Anyway, I digress. Two movies on one screen. Scott Adams, creator of Dilbert, was talking about this. That we, you have, you have a bin of people on the left and you have a bin of people on the right. And they're looking at the events of the day. That's the movie. And the people on one side see one movie. Same events, one movie. People on the other side, same events, different movie. And I got to thinking about this uh, today because I saw a headline and it said something about uh, Peppermint Patty, the uh, Biden's uh, press secretary, schooling so-and-so of Fox News. And forget what I think actually happened. Um, what I, I, I think happened there isn't important. What is important is, for fun, I was thinking about two movies on one screen, and so I scrolled through the comments. And it was a somewhat leftish site. And, uh, I mean, their headline was that, uh, you know, the Biden administration's spokes cartoon took this report Fox News reporter to school and or schools and of course there's certain flag things there's flag flags red flags Fox News had to stress that he was a Fox News reporter as if that is somehow that that's making him the other right away to their audience oh you know you can laugh at him cuz he's just a Fox News reporter so I went into the comments and there was a preponderance of comments basically saying, your headline is bull. She didn't take him to school. He humiliated her. She talked around the subject, but didn't answer his questions and basically made herself out to be a complete ass. The responses were, oh, uh, sorry, the responses from the left were, oh, wow, he, she totally owned him. Two groups of people watching the same video coming to completely opposite conclusions about what they saw. I don't really know what to draw from that, what conclusion to draw from that other than, yeah, I think Scott Adams has really described a phenomenon and, and I've been paying a lot of attention to it. Uh, a, a, a very interesting phenomenon there that we we see, we all see an event, and depending on our political leanings coming into the event, we draw completely opposite conclusions. I saw a short clip of Governor DeSantis of Florida spanking a reporter. The reporter asked him a completely leading bullshit question, and it was the way reporters always do. Well, critics have said thus and such about your such and such bill. And DeSantis looked at him and said, "Is it? have you read the bill? Well, no. Does the word even exist in the bill? And the guy, uh, 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 he doesn't know what to say. He says, this is a complete narrative. This is a complete fabrication. Where did you get this? And and Governor DeSantis basically gave the reporter a lesson in how to do his job as a reporter. 
the reporter tweeted the clip. He was 100% totally convinced he came out on top in that exchange. I saw a disingenuous asshole asking a leading gotcha question and uh, of a man on the opposite political side of the political spectrum who wasn't having it, who verbally spanked him, stripped him naked and tanned his backside red, humiliated him. And he tweeted it out like he'd won. He has literally no clue that he was humiliated. Because he wasn't. Because in his world, he won the exchange. Many years ago, uh, this was when Preston Manning was, had created the Western Reform Party. He spoke at my university. And he gave a very interesting talk, and, and I was there to see it. And I don't really remember much of the substance of it. I remember it, 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 was, it was an interesting talk. He was laying out his policy positions and why the West wants in, which I believe was the slogan. And the head of the university NDP club, uh, uh, dimwit I like to call Simple Simon. His name was Simon something or other. But Simple Simon comes up and he says, You're... Your, your party slogan, or you, you said one, one land, one people. Doesn't that sound a lot like Ein Volk, Ein Reich, Ein Führer? And Manning gave a very pleasant response. I wouldn't have. I'd have responded as DeSantis did to his idiotic questioner. But Simple Simon thinks he won. He made himself out to be a complete and utter disrespectful horse's ass. But he thinks he won. So this whole two movies on one screen thing, it's not a new phenomenon, but it's certainly, I think, more prevalent now because my buddies and I, sitting in the cafeteria afterwards, and there was a very wide spectrum of, of politics there from left right across the spectrum to right. Even the most leftish guy that we had in there, he said, oh, yeah, he's an idiot. But he just likes to make these soundbite questions because he, he, he's just trying to get a gotcha question for a soundbite. Now, I'm sure Simple Simon would, you know, tweet out the video of him asking this idiot, idiotic, inane question and totally convinced that he won the exchange because... He saw this movie, and other people saw that movie. Two movies, one screen.